Welcome to DZ Academy, an exciting new way to be able to not only learn DZ modding, but also download and share resources with other DZ community members. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is DJ, also known as Big Grandpa, and yes, I really am a 100% official grandfather. My grandson and I regularly play online. Let's wind the clock back to the 70s. Probably way before most of you guys or girls were even a twinkle in your father's eye. All disco was huge and flares were big and life was mostly, well, computer free. The year is 1977. My mum returns from work one day carrying a large box and tells my sister and I that she bought us something new to play with. Excitingly, we tore the brown wrapping off the box and there before us was Pong. At first we were confused and didn't know what it was, but then we realised it connects to the TV. Huh? Well, 30 minutes later, we were playing what was one of the first home video games ever created. Our minds were blown. The years went by and Pong became a Commodore 64 in the early 80s, and it seemed to just get better each year. And then one day it dawned on me, well, how do they make those games? Well, back in those days, we used to get all of our info from magazines. So my cash in hand and off to the news agency to search for something. I was searching the magazine racks and there it was, Your Computer Magazine. It had shiny pages filled with articles about computers, software, games, but even more amazing was the section I discovered that had actual code. You code manually, copy line for line, and create a working game better than Pong. Well, thousands of hours were spent typing lines of code in a dim-lit bedroom to the sound of solid key clicks, and then came the moment, type run. And syntax error in line such and such, or out of data error, which usually meant the hundreds of lines of data at the end of the code had a wrong digits or a full stop instead of a comma. It's needless to say, most of the games never ran or only half worked before crashing. I even attended night school to learn structured programming, Turbo and Pascal, but sadly I was not bright enough to be able to do anything with it. But it was fun and it was challenging. Well, the 90s rolled along, technology got better, faster and less clunky. It was about this time I was playing Monster Truck Madness on my Packard Bell Pentium 166 MMX with 4 mega RAM. And the internet was starting to make waves. Dial-up was a 336k modem and everything took patience and it's something that comes in handy with DayZ. While searching the web, I came across a site, KC Vales, and it's still available online today. It was dedicated to modding and mapping monster truck madness. Hmm. This was the most exciting moment of my life. I know now I can create my own versions of the very same game. Well, days become nights and nights became weeks, and 16 months later, I produced several functioning maps to play online with fellow truckers. Now, I love zombies and have every zombie flick ever produced. I even have a life-size zombie called Zara, and it's much to the dismay of my wife. Well, in 2020, I decided to see what was available in zombie games and I discovered DayZ. It sounded awesome. I mean, I don't really play many games these days, but zombies, survival, and cars, shut up and take my credit card. And then it happened. While I was installing Steam, I discovered DayZ tools. I knew right then and there, my now wife is going to get to see the back of my head during COVID-19. You see, we lost all our business and I had to do something to fill time. I had a spinal accident from a drunk driver, chronic asthma and permanent vertigo which limited my work options, so I needed something to feel productive. Over the next 12 months I spent every minute of the day and night searching, toying, cussing over this confusing, frustrating and yet addictive hobby of making maps in DayZ. And then one day I packed a PBO, I ran DayZ offline mode and lo and behold a real-life map of Rosebud, Victoria, appeared on my screen. Sure, it needed trees, houses, roads, and much more, but I could see it worked. For the first time in over 35 years, I had created a game that was functioning. I knew the sky was the limit from that point onwards. I knew that daisy modding would become my passion. 
And it's my belief that you too can achieve your dream of making a real life map. That is why our motto is dream it, build it, play it. In the words of Willy Wonka, there is no place I know that compares to pure imagination. So hold your breath, make a wish, count to three, and I'll see you in the next video.